Hey, it's your girl, Janae Emily Utley, holistic lifestyle maven and possibility trainer. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is being brought to you via this bum fall weather. Today, it's so beautiful, so I decided to have a chit chat with y'all outside and kind of let y'all know what's going on. I know, I know, I know, I promise a skincare video and like a sustainable living crunchy video that's coming. Um, before I could get to the skincare routine and showing y'all what I do on the outside, it was really important for me to talk about what is happening on the inside of me. So, whew, at the beginning of October, I got sick. And now the thing about me is when I get sick, even the sickest, sickest that I've ever gotten in my life, I'm typically good in about four days. Well, this time I was still suffering like at day seven, at day eight. And even now, like, it's like still a, like a lingering cough. And so that was like a, a wake up call for me. Like, hold on, wait a minute, what's going on? And it was like in the midst of that, like, God got real with your girl. Um, and I had like a couple of epiphanies. One of the epiphanies that I was having was just like, Janae, you are today, this moment, this second, this is the youngest that you are ever gonna be. And I wanna make sure that I am capitalizing off of every second and every minute of my life. And when I'm honest with myself, I know that I haven't really for real been going all the way in and staying there. Now, I created this program called the Mind, Body, Spirit Detox. And what it is, is a five day detox program. We detox uh, mental stuff, we detox spiritual stuff, and we detox the body. And each day is a new focus. Like day one is um, focused on gut health. And the reason that that program starts with gut is because everything starts <laughs> in the gut. If you're trying to heal your teeth, you're trying to heal your eyesight, you're trying to heal your skin, trying to grow thicker hair, thicker nails, uh, you want your knees to stop aching, like you, you want to uh, fight depression, all of that starts in the gut. You have to heal your gut if you really want to see any maintainable and sustainable results in whatever area that you are looking in. So I knew that, okay, I got to start back at day one. So I made a couple promises to myself. Uh-huh. I promised myself that for the next 30 days that I was going to eat uh-huh, foods that would help heal my gut. So I said that I was going to do a 30-day gut healing protocol. Not just that, I promised myself that each day for these 30 days that I was going to walk for at least an hour. Now, when I sat down and for real mulled that over, I was like, nah, nah, I ain't gonna do that. So the promise is now uh, each day uh, for 30 days, I'm going to walk for at least 30 minutes. And if I wanna do more, that's awesome. And if I want to, you know, walk more and go to the gym, <laughs> kudos to me. And I feel like what God kind of told me when he kind of showed me myself was, Janae, you playing around. You'll do just enough. Ooh, that, that, y'all, that got me, ah, that got me in my gut. Uh, basically, essentially, you'll do just enough, like, you had some skin issues, you'll do just enough to heal the issues that you have before you kind of like slowly, you know, start falling back into your old ways. You know, you'll do just enough to get your period back and then when your period is back, you kind of like, mm, okay, I, I can kind of relax on this kind of stuff. He was like, you go all in, in the sense that you do what's required, but you don't stay there. there there's no like high level consistency there. And he was like, and then you don't even share your journey all the way. I said, oh my God, you, you don't even share your journey. And that really convicted me because that's one of the reasons that um, the mind, body, spirit detox was so beneficial for me and was so beneficial uh, for the women that went through the program with me and still purchase the program and go through their program. Not just that, I realized that, y'all, God was for real illuminating some stuff for me. I realized that I was, for a really long time, I have secretly been believing um, lies, and I didn't realize that it was a lie that I had bought into. Like, 
I love bread and I genuinely enjoy cheese and cheesy breads and all that kind of stuff. And somewhere in my mind, I believed a lie that I could never give that up. Like I could give it up for five days. I could give it up for 14 days, but anything longer than, than, than that, that I was like not capable of doing. And I can't remember if I was listening to the Bible or having a conversation. I can't remember. But um, I think I was listening to a podcast. And on the podcast, they were talking about that uh, piece of scripture where um, Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness. And he didn't eat for 40 days. And during this whole thing where... God is kind of for real telling me about myself and I'm getting like so many like Janae woo flasher alert alert like all of this like uh enlightenment if you will hearing that did some to me y'all it like hearing it that day it hit different and I realized that by God, through God and the Holy Spirit all things are possible like I don't have to be a slave to food like it's a real thing when God says that man is to not eat by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God, y'all, that is real. And so I was like, I'm going to do this good healing protocol and I'm going to do it right. And not only am I going to do it right, I'm going to do it uh, all in and I'm going to be consistent. So this is not something that I'm going to do for 30 days and then stop. This is something that I'm going to implement outside of the 30 days and figure out new and interesting ways to still, you know, eat other foods and eat the foods that I genuinely enjoy, but not have those things then come back and overtake my entire diet, my entire situation till it feels like I'm back in square one. Not just that, uh-oh, not just that, but sharing. Y'all, I have not been on my game. If you have been on a part of my tribe for any length of time, or maybe you you new to the tribe, but you've been binge watch some of my videos, you know that a while back I talked about um, getting my period back. I got my period back, and then it went away, and then I got it back, and, and then it got spotty, right? Talks about getting my period back. I talked about healing my teeth. I talked about improving my vision. I talked about healing my skin. Like, I talked about all of these things. And then, like, I, I, I went into this cave and started doing stuff and experimenting with stuff. And stuff would work and then stuff would fail. But I never came back and followed up with y'all. I legitimately sat down the other day and went to look at the video that I did when I was talking about I visited a naturopathic doctor and what she told me and different recommendations that she gave me. And I told y'all that I was going to share with y'all. I realized I didn't even come back and share with y'all the exact things that she was take, telling me to take. I didn't show y'all my supplements. I didn't tell you uh, what I was taking and why I was taking it and what times of that. I did not do that at all. I have legitimately dropped the ball. And one thing God showed me, uh, I, you know how you get so frustrated with yourself because God show you stuff? <laughs> And you forget that he show you, so you fall back into the same pattern. And then he'll, patient God, faithful God, he'll remind you again what he had already showed you and what you had already gotten, like, clarification on. My God, God forgive me. Lord forgive me. But I realized that I was not sharing anything. Like, I've completely dropped the ball in that regard. So this reset is a reset for me but it's also a reset for y'all because I believe that many of y'all in my tribe y'all are here because y'all are here on purpose like it's not a coincidence that you found me and I don't care how you found me I don't care if you stumble across this channel because you saw one of my hair videos and you was like oh I'm trying to get my hair white or I'm trying to <laughs> uh oh come on somebody I'm trying to work on my way I don't care how you got here the fact of the matter is that you are here now and this is not an accident and that I know God has tasked me with showing 
y'all how to live a holistic life. And I know that um, my healing is attached to me sharing. When I went through the Mind, Body, Spirit Detox program with the women in my community, y'all, when I tell y'all stuff was breaking free off of my life and the other women's lives, it was because we were connected. And then <laughs> it's like, why don't I realize this? The, the minutes that I stopped sharing stuff with y'all or like being transparent and being um, as open as God wants me to do is be as regularly as he wants me to be. Like I'll do stuff behind the scenes or I, like I'll go into hiding or I'll let um, overthinking get the best of me or perfectionism get the best of me. Like y'all stuff start going backwards, like backwards. And I know my healing is accelerated when I'm accountable to y'all. And I believe vice versa. I believe, you know, you being accountable to this tribe, accountable to your goals in this tribe, uh, accelerates your capacity to be healthy and to be healed and to maintain it as well. So I have been sharing um, what I've been doing on this good healing protocol because um, during this few days where like I got all these downloads and God checked me um one day in particular for a whole day I just did research I was like okay what does this look like uh, because the mind body spirit detox and pause for the calls this video is brought to you by my program the mind body spirit detox now this is a program that I truly feel like was uh, anointed by God because it's not just a traditional detox at all. The point of this detox isn't to starve you, isn't to make you hungry, but it's actually to fill you up spiritually, mentally, and nutritionally. So I will leave a link in the description box below so you can find out more about this program. And this is a great step. If you're gonna try to do this journey with me, the next phase of this, this 30 day good healing situation, this uh, Mind by Spirit Detox needs to be your first stop. It's five days. It helps you get into the mindset that you need to, to to be able to for real do this because you'll realize that it's more than just food right you'll realize what's at stake and it'll give you a different perspective because sometimes when we doing all these diet therapies and we don't really involve God it's, it's hit or miss it's up and down it's, it's, it's yo-yo but that mind body spirit detox my mind body spirit detox program will really give you and allow you to have a brand new relationship with your body and with food that really keeps Christ in the center. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I took a day and I just researched like what foods do I need to take out of my diet? What food do I need to add into my diet? And not only what I need to do for like gut healing, I also wanted to do like an anti-inflammatory diet type situation. So I had to cross reference because some foods that's on the gut healing protocol are not okay with the uh, inflammatory diet and vice versa. So I had to find a cross section of foods that I could eat that would contribute to the goals that, you know, I have for myself. So I'm sorry, I am back on my game, um, and I'm back on my game so I can for real share with y'all, so we can for real do this together. So I am coming soon with a skincare video, but the skincare video ain't gonna for real help you like you need help for the longevity <laughs> if you, what you eating ain't together and your hormones are crazy and your gut health crazy because ain't nothing topically gonna help you if your gut toe up and your diet toe up so very next video again that you get from me will be me uh detailing what the naturopathic doctor told me supplements that i'm taking and then you will get regular updates from me about what's going on during my gut healing protocol i am actually doing like daily like daily updates on instagram so if you are not following your girl on instagram follow me on instagram i'm showing you what i'm eating the meals that i'm making and i'm really having fun with it today is currently day seven no day six of the protocol and i am utterly shocked at how good i feel um I don't have cravings like the fact that 
I haven't had dairy. I haven't had bread. I haven't had no fried food. I ain't had no grains, no beans, no pasta, no cereal, no sugar in six days. And I feel great is amazing. I have legitimately been, been cooking all my meals. Um, I did go and get a salad from Panera, but it, it's, it's amazing the limitations that we put on ourselves. It's amazing what when, when we decide, like in our gut, decide that we are actually going to do something, how you do it and your actions line up with it. Like I have cooked more in the last six days and I feel like I've cooked in the last six months. Y'all forgive me, forgive me. Don't talk about me too bad. But that's the truth. And old oh, Janae, if I got to the point where I'm, I'm so hungry, like I'm too hungry, I ain't trying to cook. Let's just go get something fast. Now it's like, if I'm hungry, I don't care how hungry I am, it's okay. I'll give myself 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and I'll cook a meal, and that's just it. Like. I cannot believe I was making such a huge deal about this beforehand. Cause it's just, it ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. And I was making it this huge thing. And I used to get so crabby. Like John, my husband would be like, let's just cook something. I'd be like, no, I'm so hungry. I just want to eat now. Cause if we cook, that means I got to wait a, another 30 minutes. We got to go to the store and get something that's for 30 minutes. And then I got to cook it. 30. No, I wait as long as I got to wait and cook the food. So, um, that's my husband, he just. So I am encouraging you to check out my Mind, Body, Spirit Detox. Again, I will leave a link in the description box below. If you want to eventually, in a week or two, do this uh, gut healing protocol, you wanna join me on this journey, that program is going to be a great <laughs> first step to introduce you into this a lifestyle because it's not I don't want to say it's necessarily all about food and all about diet because for me it has real life spiritual implication real life purpose implications um yeah but thank y'all rocking out with me I am going to do my best to keep y'all on this journey and keep y'all updated with you know if I heal my gut if my vision vision improved, if my skin is improving, um, did I reverse cavities and did I reverse periodontal disease and like all of this stuff, I'm gonna keep y'all updated, okay? And if it's ever a moment where you ain't heard nothing from me, call me to the carpet. I ain't got no problem. Be respectful about it, be tasteful and be kind about it, but call me to the carpet, be like, Janae, uh, you said you was gonna update us. I ain't seen no update. Find Hit up my Instagram DMs, Janae, bro, you tripping. You said that you was going to share with us. You said that call me to the carpet. I am okay with it. Keep me accountable to my word. So, y'all, let's do this. Bye. Be blessed.